The thing about Sunday is, is that I like to sleep in. I really do. But th this Sunday, I forgot about daylight savings time. So I slept in a little bit longer than I would have anticipated because of the whole losing an hour thing. So I really wanted to get stuff done today. I have some stuff planned that I wanted to do. This is one of them. This is a cable, about a 50 foot ethernet cable that when I plug into a network will bring everything down. So there's a short in there somewhere and I want to like snip both ends or something and, and put new jacks on it. But I just, I haven't done that yet. And then of course there's this thing, this little Synology NAS here. I had this in there because I was doing a video on it. Um, about the Plex and how well it performed. So now I want to hook it back up, uninstall Plex, and I want to start tinkering with some other things that are in with this one, like the built-in DVR system for security cameras. Uh, well, built-in, I mean, it's their own type of software. I mean, technically you still have to install it. You know, it's not like it comes with it, at least that's as far as I know. Um, but still, it is something that they have, like that's their own little thing, so I do kind of want to check that out and see what that is all about. And for right now, just because I'm testing this device and I'm not like deploying it or keeping it anywhere permanent, it's just sitting right here because it's, it's close to the switch. I can have it plugged in without any kind of major hassle and, you know, it's easily manageable, at least for the test. So, but anyways, Sunday. I was supposed to go see my grandmother today. She's sick and uh, she's, ha she's out of the hospital today. But due to some, let's just say complications, I can't go see her. So I was going to try to get a bunch of stuff done today and then I slept in and now it's already three o'clock in the afternoon, which kind of takes a bite out of my day, then it's all my fault. I've been dealing with something though, which costs a little bit of money because I have to fix it, but my computer has been screwing up and it's been a little irritating because I built it and it's supposed to just run nice and do all the things and be all the stuff and, and, and it wasn't. It was powering down on me randomly. Um, actually, it's not randomly. If you're not familiar with my main computer build, I spent a bunch of money on it. I did an actual build uh, vlog on it, like a build series on it. You know, check out probably the links in the description if I remember to link them. But basically, it's a pretty beastly system built with a 7940X, overclocked, uh, de-litted, direct dive mounted to the cooler, custom water-cooled loop, uh, 2080 Ti. In the build video, though, all I had was a 1080 Ti, and then I ended up upgrading to the 2080 Ti Duke from MSI. Yes, wait, yes. So I upgraded to the Duke, put that into the system, and then because, I don't know if you guys have seen this either, but I have like five monitors. I got all the monitors everywhere, and I wanted to run um, some like three monitors off of one card, and then the other two monitors off the 1080 Ti, and then I wanted to dedicate the 1080 Ti to OBS. Like if I wanted to stream or record things or do whatever, I just wanted a dedicated GPU that wasn't running like the primary screens. Uh, I wanted that dedicated GPU doing everything else. And when I hooked everything up, I actually slapped the 1080 Ti in there. Everything seemed to work pretty good. Now what's in my system? I already said it has a 7940X, but what's really in it is a 1000 watt EVGA power supply, which has been a fantastic power supply. I carried it over from my X99 system. Uh, I just save a few bucks by carrying over a power supply that for all intents and purposes should have been adequate for my needs. At least it was adequate until I threw in the 1080 and the 2080 Ti's. So you probably all kind of know where I'm going with this. But in my defense, when I installed the 1080 Ti on top of the 2080 Ti, everything actually ran perfect for a long time. I was able to uh, record screens or gameplay with OBS while encoding a video with Adobe Media Encoder and playing Rocket League. So that was kind of a normal, and I'm still getting like 60 to 65 frames per second on Rocket League. So I was able to do a lot of stuff at the same time with my computer and never had any issues. And then came the problems. Updates. I hate updates. I try to avoid them as long as possible, just mainly because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why would you want to update something when it runs just fine the way it is? There's an obvious yes answer you should update to that question, but yeah. Pretty much, I wanted to play Overwatch and it was running kind of crappy, so I updated my graphics drivers uh, to the latest one and it fixed Overwatch, but I ended up crashing next time I wanted to encode a video and play a game at the same time, 
which is not good for me because usually like once I start encoding a video, boom, I'm gonna start playing some games, you know, at least as much as I can. So um, I like having the ability to do that with my computer. I don't want to use a second computer to encode my stuff, especially when my main computer can handle everything. At least it used to be able to. Did not have a problem until coincidentally enough, I updated my graphics drivers and then all of a sudden, my computer started powering down, shut off. Just like, just like someone reached in the back and just like, Toom! and then here I am today. Right now, all I have installed in my computer is my 1080 Ti, mainly just because I haven't taken it out and put the uh, 2080 Ti. But if you see back behind my computer, this red power cable right here actually goes directly to my UPS or my un un uninterruptible power supply, which is this thing right here. This thing has been really good to me. It has lots of power. It's a pretty beefy little power supply. It's pure sine wave. It's been a great backup thing. The only thing is, is that once this hits 50%, it starts screaming like it's just being murdered. I mean, it's just So my first thought when I was running through this and it was powering down, I'm like, maybe there's a surge voltage thing going on where my UPS is unable to handle the voltage. So I ran a direct line to a plug-in, um, but that didn't fix anything. I reverted drivers back to the ones that I updated from. I updated to the even newer ones. Uh, I disabled all the overclocking on my computer, including the RAM. I mean, I just, I spent, I don't know, probably a solid few hours going through and troubleshooting and, and bringing everything down, then tried to encode and, and play a game all at the same time. And I was still getting power issues. So now, I spent a little bit of money, unfortunately. I wasn't really planning on it, but basically I ended up getting a 1600 watt EVGA modular power supply. It's a T2. You can check out the links down below in the description. And the reason why I'm putting links to both of these power supplies is because, well, somebody in my Discord server actually brought up a good point when I was talking about doing the upgrades. Uh, because in my mind, I've always, or at least for a long time now, I've been buying EVGA power supplies. First the uh, 800 or 850 and then 1000 watt, and now I'm buying the 1600 watt. So I'm kind of sticking with this EVGA line, but in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if I get a power supply by the same company, same modular, everything is the same, all I gotta do is just swap the power supply and then plug in the modular cables and not actually have to do any kind of cable management at all. It's just, it'll be a simple, easy upgrade. And then someone was like, well, you could fry your computer because the pins would be different. Now I've always known that, you know, cross power supply, the plugins could be different, but I mean, I always figured that the pins, they still have to go to the same stuff, you know, and I researched it and that's not true. Look, sometimes things do uh, fry, even, you know, with the same brand, which sounds kind of dumb, but I guess that is what it is. My point is, is that if you guys want to check those links out, let me know. I've done some research, Amazon questions, they show that the PS, I think, or the GS, PS version of my 1000 watt power supply that I have is not compatible with the new T2 versions, uh, but some of them say that, or some say that they are, some say that they're not. So it's kind of confusing. I want to look at them, but there's really hard to tell just by looking at them, especially when it's still in the system to verify that it would. So if anyone out there has any experience going from the two power supplies listed in my description down below, let me know. One thing that I found is that the EVGA website actually uh, sells a, uh, a kit, like a wiring kit, a power supply and all those cables kit. And it works for like a very wide range of power supplies, but mine is just specifically not included in that, which is the only reason it's got the wheels spinning right now. Cause I, I don't want to spend two hours, you know, maybe not two hours, but I don't know. I'm just, I'd like to use everything that I have in place because that would save me probably maybe two hours, ripping them all out and put them all back in and making them all look nice. It's a big difference. But either way, right now, I got my 2080 Ti sitting on the carpet like a crazy person. Jeez, why would I do something like that? And I have my 1080 Ti sitting in there. I just need to bring my computer back down, take that 1080 Ti out, put the 2080 Ti back in there temporarily until I get my new power supply. So, yeah. I also, for some reason, decided to order another UPS exactly like this actually it's it's literally the same one 
but I ordered another one. I'm gonna put it right underneath it, and then I'm gonna run Zeus and everything off of one, like the Zeus and my switches and everything off of one, and I'm gonna run my main computer off of the other. And the reason why is literally just so this thing doesn't scream like it's being like brutally murdered. Because it does. It's like, Wah! it's annoying AF and I don't want to deal with that. So I've been wanting to get a backup battery for a long time. I was just a little hesitant because these are 20 amps and it's only running through a 15 amp plug in. And now I want to throw two of them on the same circuit. So there's a distinct possibility that I could, you know, pop a circuit. You know, maybe even slowly overheat a wire and burn down my house, but I doubt it. I don't think that happened, right? It shouldn't happen. I hope not. Insurance, you're not watching this, are you? Another little Sunday thing that I wanted to do, which I don't know if I'm going to get to, is going to be this little watt electricity usage monitor. I actually wanted to go over to Lowe's, which or Home Depot. Home Depot is actually closer, but I want to go over to somewhere and get one of these kilowatt hour reader thingies so I could plug in my computer and find out exactly what it's drawing. Because, I mean, I know that I'm pushing the wattage to, like, to a limit with a 1,000 watt power supply, with a 2080 Ti, a 1080 Ti, a 7940X, a custom water cool loop. I think I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, let's say 11 fans. In the computer right now, rounded up to 12 to an even number. I know I have a lot of stuff going on in there, but a 1,000 watt really should have handled all of that to some extent. Um, I, I did overclock though, so I was pulling extra voltage. It's just frustrating because I turned off all the overclocking and it was still powering down. And I don't even have any overclocks done on my graphics cards too. I, I turned all those off as well. So it's a little frustrating because a thousand watts, at least in my mind, it should have handled that. And for the longest time, it did, which makes me think that maybe, potentially, possibly, pulling the maximum probably upwards of 9 to 950 watts, maybe even a little bit more, uh, off of that power supply for an extended period of time, all the time, maybe made the EVGA power supply start to go bad, lose some of its efficiency, which I know happens to power supplies over time. And I've, I think I've had that power supply now for a couple few years. It was since I built the X99 system. So it is very possible that just over time, you know, I've taxed it and it's just starting to uh, lose some efficiency, lose some power production ability, and here we are. But that's okay because I bought a 1600 watt. It is on its way, should be here this week, and I can get back to running, you know, the dual graphics card with the 2080 and the TI working side by side. But uh, I really, there's another thing I need to do on Sunday. I, taxes. I hate taxes. I've been procrastinating for a while. Mainly I was waiting on stuff, you know, like all kinds of deductions and, you know, charity stuff and, and all the, the companies that send you stuff. So I've been kind of procrastinating, but I really need to, you know, tackle that or at least get started on that. Also, I need to kind of clean. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't like that. But, you know, projects and everything, boxes and stuff, I got stuff everywhere. And it's just one of those... I, I always put off until, you know, I do it all at once. So I also have to do that. But now I feel like the day is coming to a close already, even though it's only three o'clock. Still though, when you wake up late, and I'm talking like 1240, you, you think, geez, the day is like halfway over, you know? Like I gotta go to bed in like 11 hours. Like what am I gonna do with 11 hours? Oh, I know, I'm gonna talk to the camera and waste some time, yes. To give you a better idea of the mess, okay, we have back here, tucked away in an unused portion of my basement, my old desk, which I took apart, I put over here. I need to put on Craigslist and get rid of it because it's still a nice desk, probably worth a solid hundred bucks. I just haven't done that. Also, I took down a green screen, I put it over there and I haven't folded it up. And that stupid Maxonomic chair, still have it sitting there. I just need to do something with that. I got my uh, trash box, which actually, I always have a trash box. Got some cables I need to put up. This is the Synology disk station box that I actually have to keep out somewhat. That's a camera I need to throw away, or not throw away, put on a shelf and, and just keep there. Then I got some clothes and stuff strung out all over my couch down here. Then the cable that I introduced you to earlier that I need to mess with, some other cables in here that I need to find a place to store, including my bag full of extension cables and all kinds of adapters and stuff. I use the crap out of all the time, all kinds of things. These boxes, how long has it been? 
since I shucked these. I haven't done anything with these. I need to throw this away. What is wrong with me? I have sliders on the ground. I got all kinds of things over here. Look at this. What is that? I don't remember last time. I don't remember. What was the last time I used this stuff? It's just sitting here. Just, what, what is going on? The Dremel. I remember the Dremel. That, was, that, that wasn't actually too long ago. But I haven't even messed with Barnacle's head since then. Like, I, I need to do that. I need to, need to sand this thing. And now that I think about it, over here, I don't even know what this thing plugs into. Like, what is this? I don't remember what that's for. I have no idea. But I need to put stuff away. And it's not like I don't have all these shelves in here that I could use for all this stuff with all kinds of free space. But, I, I mean, I got stuff on the ground. Look at this. Look at this. I was messing around with this, trying to do another video with the Switch and this, this old uh, DVR, NVR from Amcrest. And I just, I just put it on the ground. And I'm like, ah, I'll deal with it later. But the box is right there. It's right there. Just put it in the box. Put it in the box, Jason. What is wrong with you? I got some cool new audio gear though. I need to uh, mess with that. That's like super, super high-end stuff. I don't even know what to do with all this. Look at this. This thing is like some like professional processor switcher thing. So I gotta, I gotta figure that out. I have no idea how to use it yet. I haven't even really dove into it. But got some other stuff to deal with. Some other stuff over here to deal with. <sighs> Now, you may think that it's chaotic, and I agree. Really, it comes down to I start something, and then I see a squirrel, and then I do something else, and then I see another squirrel, and then I do something else. Next thing you know, I got squirrel poop all over my basement. I still want to go to Home Depot, though, or Lowe's. Home Depot, for sure. I want to get one of the wattage meters. Here's why. It doesn't actually change anything because the results are going to be the same. I need a new power supply. I need enough power to feed the 2080 and the 1080 Ti. It does not change anything, but I want to see if my power supply is going bad because here's the way I look at it. If I hook up the little wattage like tracker thingy and I plug it into my computer, I start flexing on the computer, I do the encoding, the recording, uh, and like play Rocket League or some kind of game and it crashes, I can keep an eye on what wattage it hit before it crashed my computer. And if it's only hitting like, let's say 850 watts and it's a thousand watt power supply, then maybe I could look at warranty. I don't know. I'd have to check for sure how long I've had that power supply. But uh, basically it'll tell me whether or not it's actually bad. And if I do have a warranty, I can submit for a warranty. If I don't have a warranty, then I just, I know that that power supply no longer can put out a thousand watts, that it can only do whatever. So. At least if I get that and I and I know for sure, then I know how to move forward with it. Because this, I could either A, be completely going over the wattage, or B, I have a, a malfunctioning power supply and I have to, you know, take action on that somehow. But the end result is the same. I mean, I ordered a 1600 watt, it's on its way, and I ordered a new backup battery, so now that's on its way. And, uh, oh yeah, I also ordered a stream deck, like the, the Elgato stream deck, the big one. Um, the $150 one, because I want to start playing with some stuff like that. Oh, someone sent me smart home stuff. Check this out. Okay. This is the, uh, Sonoff. This is like a basic, you know, AC power switch, right? It has a range of, I forgot it was like 80 to. Okay. So it has an AC range from 90 to 250 volts and it's Wi-Fi connected. It's a very basic switch. It's just like one of those, you can turn anything into smart, anything, you know, I don't know what is going to be made smarter yet, but I do want to make something or multiple things smarter with this. I just don't know yet. I got two of those. So yeah, I need to find something to do with these. I don't know yet. And I think, possibly, maybe, I'm going to try to tie it into the Elgato Stream Deck somehow. I think so, which I, I, th I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know how to do that yet. I need to research it. I need to Google it. But I think I can, I can use the Elgato Stream Deck to maybe hook up some lights, possibly. I don't know. You guys watch Barnacles? He does some crazy stuff with his, with his stream deck where he pushes buttons and fog machines and all kinds of stuff goes off. I have a fog machine. It's got a remote 
on it, so it probably could be activated remotely. I don't really know. I've been waiting for Barnacles to make a video, like showcasing how he does all that. But um, either way, I have a, a Sophos, a Sophos, Sophos. Oh no! Pfft. Either way, I have a Sonof, S Sonof. You know, I think in the interest of actually accomplishing something in today's video. And actually having some kind of purpose, I need to just buck up and go to Home Depot. That's what I need to do. I have to do this. Because if I sit here and think, oh, I wanna get this, I wanna get that, I can literally spend more time thinking about what I want to do instead of actually doing it. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot. And I am going to get a little wattage thingy, meter thingy. And I'm going to actually have a purpose to this video. Coming? No, no. It's coming. It means I get to go. Oh, I don't need to go that quickly. You can do it. There you go. Oh yes, Home Depot. I really could get lost in here and just buy a bunch of crap that I don't need very easily, actually. Hopefully I can stick to my guns and just get what I need. Hopefully. I can never figure out where I'm going. Like, am I looking in the right area? This doesn't look like the right area. This, this, this does not look like electronics. Not even close. Nope. There's like signs everywhere that probably tells me where I should go, but I have the navigational skills of a drunk monkey. And electrical stuff, I found electrical stuff. Look at that, see? It's electrical stuff. I found it. I had to ask a guy because I could not find it, but I found it. And I got two wall plates because I, I remembered I broke one. So this one, same price online, $28.99, 97 cents. So. This should be perfect. I wonder. Okay, max draw, 15 amps. Yeah, this should work. I think my computer, this should be all right. I think so. But now I'm like, while I'm here, I wanted out to add an outdoor sensor to my trash can area, uh, like a light that automatically comes on when it senses motion. So when I take out the trash, you know, um, because that light switch is not accessible to take out the trash. So I'm gonna look there. Look at this, $34, hells yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be super bright. Like, I just want some motion to where I can see where I'm going at night, you know? Instead of using my flashlight on my phone to take out the trash. So, I figure while I'm here, I'm gonna walk up and down some aisles, see what else I can get myself into. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like I like Lowe's better than Home Depot. Maybe it's because I'm more familiar with it, Things kind of seem oddly laid out here. But I think I like Lowe's better. I think it has something to do with, like, I kind of wandered up and down most of the halls here, and, like, I didn't really squirrel that much, you know? Usually Lowe's, I'm, like, containing myself. Maybe it's just a weird day. I'm approaching my car, and I'm, I'm really starting to think I need a car wash. I don't think it's supposed to snow anymore or ice anymore, so I should probably get that washed. And I, I think, like, one, one street over, like, one street over, there's a car wash, like, like green bugger or something. I don't know, I should go there. Okay, so apparently everybody and their freaking dog wants a car wash right now because the, the expensive one, which isn't green, I think it was Lantern before? The expensive one's got a line, look at this shit. I mean, look how long that line is. It's like wrapping around, that goes all the way over there. That is definitely not worth it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go to the manual one, but most of those are shut down. They got cones in front of them, so I can't even go there. 
I'm back. You know, I was really nice to that guy that was ringing me out at Home Depot because like there was this huge sign that was like, get a free Coca-Cola if I don't ask you about how to save $25 by signing up for our credit card or whatever. Ooh, it's dark now. I could have did it, but I didn't. That would have been mean. And I don't really drink a lot of Coca-Cola, so. I'm gonna shut down my computer and I'm going to put the 1080 or the 2080 and the 1080 And I actually ran a, a power cable from the other side of the room just because it was easier than like unplugging this. So this should just go in between that. Okay, so it's 123 volts, 0.6 amp, hertz, VA, watt. So right now it's just pulling 10 watts, not doing anything. I wonder if that's this or a computer. Let, let's turn the computer on and see what happens. 44. 193, 200, 221. This is, this is actually really interesting, actually, being able to see this. Okay, so I'm going to start encoding just my last video, and then I'm going to play Rocket League against some bots, and I'm gonna see if this thing will crash. And I'm also going to overlay the wattage usage on the bottom of the screen. Just monitoring, let's say right now it's only pulling 400 watts. And I actually don't care about playing the game as much as I care about crashing the computer. See, I'm not pulling more than 400 watts right now. I thought this. Like, I'm not going over 400 watts. So if this thing is crashing because of power usage just on 400 watts, And this is exactly what it was doing before. I was just encoding a video while playing a game. I was running OBS too sometimes, but it doesn't really matter because just this alone should be able to crash it. But right now it's still saying 400 watts. Okay, so the regular testing so far has uh, netted no results. So um, I'm gonna test it even further and I'm going to pump it up a little bit by testing and flexing more of the 2080 Ti. Keep in mind that I'm recording with OBS, playing a video game and encoding a video with Adobe Media Encoder. So I'm gonna, this should make stuff start to stutter because this is good at doing that. So 500, 502, 487. So this should crash it almost. Actually, yeah, here it is. So it's almost frozen up now. 
So if anything should draw the most watts, 600 watts, 616. Now I'm starting to get some freezes. And it's actually dropping down because it's freezing it. Five sixty six twenty. Can I get a six twenty? Uh, see, now it's starting to get it to spike down because it freezes. There it is. Now it's shut off. I hit six fifty and it shut off finally. Okay, so two things. I tested it and it shut down from what it looks like. I got to go, you know, and actually look at it exactly, but I'm pretty sure it shut down at 629 watts, which means it is definitely gimped or something. Something's wrong. Something's not working right. So um, if it is the power supply, I looked it up. I actually bought this power supply in 2015 and I looked up on the new egg thing and it says limited warranty period for parts and labor of seven years. Seven years! That's pretty good. That's a pretty good warranty. I was expecting like a three-year warranty. So basically, I can hit them up and be like, listen guys, I bought this. It only put out 629 watts and now it's shutting down my computer because it can't keep up with it. I went out and I bought a $500 freaking power supply from you actually to replace it which is completely overkill apparently because I'm only hitting like 630 watts and I was I was playing Rocket League, I was running a video and a CPU stress test and I was recording with OBS and I was encoding a video and that only maxed out it from what I think was 629 watts. So maybe 650 spike at some point. Um, I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video because I was kind of watching and doing stuff on the computer. But anyways, if I have a seven year warranty and I can prove just by swapping this power supply out and uh, saying, hey, you know, this one's not shutting down my computer, but the other one is, then it should be a pretty easy swap. And it's a thousand watt power supply, so I really don't want to like not have it working. I mean, especially if you got seven year warranty, you got to use it, right? I don't think I've ever warrantied out a, a power supply. But anyways, guys, hopefully this random vlog slash adventure of mine um, was worth watching. Um, I think I'm gonna make some food. I'm hungry now. I feel like I accomplished something though. I verified that at 629 watts, my uh, computer shuts down. I'm fairly certain it's the, the uh, power supply, but uh, if I swap this 16 or swap this out for the 1600 watt and it still shuts down, then then I don't then I don't know. Actually, I am kind of curious what my computer runs full load, and I'm talking like with all of the overclocking that I had on my processor. So. Right now it's running at stock speeds just because I was doing troubleshooting. So I don't have any additional power being drawn. So that'll be kind of interesting once I get the new power supply in there. I'm gonna have this thing hooked up to it and I'm gonna see exactly what it's pulling uh, with the overclocking and everything while I'm stress testing it. So um, yeah, so that'll be kind of interesting. Well guys, if you have any questions, comments, or any recommendations, stuff like that, post them down in the comments below. I'm just going down my troubleshooting steps in order to figure out why my computer is screwed up. And so far, I think I'm landing on a power supply. But new one is on the way. But either way, thank you for watching. I'm going to make me some food. Like and subscribe below. And have yourself a good day.